to uh, put bait out and oh, yeah. not have to worry about it. Oh, you're using solid braid. Yeah. Um, fresh out of college, I just started a job, so I don't have that much money yet. Totally, <laughs> totally understand, boss. Totally understand. Uh, and then we'll judge on how much room is left over. You're going to go with more braid or mono? Probably just more braid. I mean, I, what would you recommend okay. right now? You're dealing with solid braid. Uh -huh. This sits on the bottom. Mm -hmm. So what you want to do is put monofilament on there so that way that's connected to your leader. Okay. Um, so that way when that's coming over the sandbar, it doesn't get eaten up quick. Okay. If you were doing hollow core, then I would say hollow core to hollow core all the way through, no worries. How much, would, would a hollow core topper be all right too? You can do that, yeah. But uh, what pound test do you have on this, 100? That's 100, yes sir. Yeah, you can go to 130 and still put like two to 300 on top. Gotta fight, gotta fight. I think I gotta fight. Got a lot of stress on my mind. It's a nice day to go. Yeah, I gotta line up a color, the whole team. Let me download this first. Yeah, yeah. Let me know how the the, the jack go, man. Cause freaking, we were actually headed offshore and we ran over like 15 schools on the way out. But we, he was looking for big shark, so we kept going out there. And then towards the late afternoon, we came back. Um, I hit the two on the way out, and he, he got the third one. So Are you trolling? Yeah, trolling. Yeah, actually, I got it on one of the underwater cameras. So, here, so here, here in a little bit, we're gonna find out how the jack hit the bait and stuff like that. So, yeah, that's awesome. Uh, I hit one on uh, one with the camera, and then I had one without a camera, and he, they both of them went out. Like I landed one with the camera first, and then I went to put the second one in because we pulled down and just so they didn't get tangled up or whatever. And right when I'm dropping down and back, it gets hit. I was like, that's damn. Awesome. I, I wanted to stay there, but he's like, dude, I'm gonna get my shark. I'm like, let's go. So, y'all get me? Uh, one little four foot bonnet or something like that, so I filleted it up and stuff. Right, family, family wanted shark, so I don't mind killing a bonnet compared to you know anything else. So. Thanks a bunch, man. We'll see you. Yeah, guys, good luck out there, man. This drone fishing has changed my life. I used to I would wake up, crack a dawn, get out there, get a good spot, get everything set up, start yakking out baits. I can wake up at 10 o'clock, go, go drop my baits out there. <laughs> I still have to learn how to fly a drone. I have, I have two. It's really not that hard. Um, like, I thought it was going to be a lot worse. Because um, one of my buddies, he, you know, he flies a drone. And well, when you get instructions with somebody, it's way different than trying to learn on your own. I just learned on my own. I oh, out, so my brother lives on 900 acres, and it's no trees, no nothing. Ah, okay. So I just went out there, and I just started figuring. It. I didn't, I didn't even know how to turn it on because I didn't read the instruction manual. Because that's just, I don't know. <laughs> guy thing. Yeah, guy thing. All right. So, so real quick, uh, what color one thirty do you want? It doesn't matter to me. Uh, which color? Blue. I got white. I got chartreuse. I've got. Let's do like a, a chartreuse. Chartreuse. Or right. either that or like a blue or something. It doesn't matter. That, that's fine. Okay. Alright, so since we're doing that, I'm going to go ahead and connect into it right now. Alrighty. Yeah. yeah. I remember I spooled up a, I don't know why I did this, but I spooled up a real one time with black braid. Mm -hmm. And then during this, during like August, you go to, you know, go to, re, you know, reel it in or whatever, and that, it heats up your reel too because of just the radiance of that, that braid. Oh, really? Hot. Yeah. The whole thing is hot. Uh, we're going out today. I think we got quite a few people coming out. Just... My buddy, I guess, decided he wanted to invite a bunch of people. Hmm. Well, it, I don't, I don't can, like... it can help if everybody yeah, is in tune with what you're doing. But... I don't like fishing with a lot of people that don't know what they're doing. <laughs> so are they going to be fishing, or are they just going to be there yeah, as moral, su oh, <laughs> moral support? <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> Shit, I haven't caught a shark since October. I haven't been able to come down. 
Don't feel bad. That little shark was the first one I've caught all year. Yeah? Yeah. But I, that's because I haven't been able to go. I've been having to do, like, black drum fishing or yeah. uh, alligator gar just because um, time constraints have been oh, yeah. horrible. You know, I've gotten into making rods, too. Oh, that's cool. Yes, sir. Sometimes I wish I got into that. Uh just because it, it's so hard to depend on a lot of guys to, to build rods. Cause it, it, yeah, and then also, they, like, people nowadays, now being on the side of actually building my own rods, I'm starting to see what it costs. Yeah. And then the time put in. Mm -hmm. And some of the prices that some people are putting out there, it's like, man, that's that's a little ridiculous, you know? Well, you got, you got to remember, too, you ever hear that the, the old guy that went out to fix a submarine... Um, All the it, twenty years experience, yeah, you know, yeah being yeah. better, and yeah. Yes, right. I understand that too, to an extent. Yeah, to an extent, but it ain't a you know a ten million dollar fishing rod. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> you know what I mean. So, so I, I get that too. Yeah. You know what I mean. But but, but, I, but no, it's it's definitely. I mean, you could get into it pretty pretty easily, and you're you have the time. That's the thing. That's it's what, very time consuming. Yeah. Saying that's where you gotta, a lot of people shortchange themselves. You know, same with me, like spooling rails. Why do you charge so much? Well, yes. You also, I've, I, I, like all my, I've, I've had my buddies bring some of my reels here. You fit like 200 yards more than everybody else can. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, it, it's that, but also too, you know, the, the investment of the machine, mm -hmm. which I don't know how much longer it's gonna last, so I'm putting that. Is it that like, Three thousand dollars a piece. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm putting that money away, so when it craps out on me, I yeah, can go yeah. buy another one and keep keep mm -hmm. working it. You yes, know what sir. I mean? Uh, so it's yeah. Cause I looked into into buying one one time. I was like, they got a light, five hundred bucks or something. A light, a lighter? Oh no, sir. Okay, okay. I was like, I was like, they gotta be just like a couple hundred bucks. I looked them up. I was like, hell no. <laughs> yeah, I'm not saying that no, and then no, hey. If you want to invest, you know, that much money, go ahead. But so then, so then their friends found out that they had to pull the machine. Oh, okay, spool this, hey, spool this. Dude, where, he's like, man, I can't believe I bought it and now everybody wants me to spool. And when I say no because I'm going fishing, they get upset. And I'm uh -huh. like, we'll see, you know, it's mm -hmm. not. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So. And like, I've already got buddies asking me, hey, build me a rod, build me a rod. Okay, go buy the material. Yeah. I'll build you a rod. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's a whole different ball game once you get invested into something and it's coming out of your pocket. Well, also, like, I thought about, you know, 10 years down the road, if, ever, if, if I ever, you know, get, you know, really good at you know, building rods and stuff, maybe hmm. start selling them. But I'm not going to sell a product that I know that I don't have. Like, I just started building rods a couple of months ago. Like, yeah. I don't have the experience to, you know, put it out there like that. Yeah. All right, so with this, I did. A, I'm doing a bimini twist on this side, okay. so that I can ramp up your your double end here of the uh, solid braid. Sounds good. And on the hollow core, I'm gonna do a tiger paw on this side, or cat's paw. It's it's both of them know the same thing. And then I'm gonna hollow core splice it back in on itself. Okay. And that creates the center knot. center yeah, it looks so pretty with the two different colors right there oh yeah that does that start juice pink mm -hmm. and the only reason I have pink on there is because I ordered I ordered like two of the 1500 yard spools mm -hmm. for my, my girlfriend's 250 watts mm -hmm. and uh, she I ended up I don't know why but I ended up putting green on one of them or something mm -hmm. and uh, we were on the beach one day, and I had just just got that avid in, and you know we had we had dropped all the rods, and I was like, I could put another one out. I could put another one out, <laughs> but I gotta spool it. And so we sat there, and I, <laughs> I had my buddy with a screwdriver and a towel holding it as tight as he could, and I'm just sitting there. <laughs> I mean, it it feels decent. It yeah. feels decent, but, but it's yeah. also been sent out. 
Yeah, I tried okay. to send it out. I mean, I don't, I don't know how much your, uh, line is on there, but I think I well, sent it out about 800 yards and then reeled it back in. We're gonna figure that out. All right. Because uh, by me downspooling it first. Yeah, we'll be able to see exactly. Yeah. How much? Yeah. How, many, how much line do y'all usually fit on those guys? Of hundred pound test of Power Pro, I was putting 1,500 yards of hundred. And then I would get a hundred yards of hundred pound mono on top, but I was I was overfilled. Yeah. So right now you're probably thirteen hundred is what it probably look now, maybe twelve. It may be pretty loose underneath. Yeah. Like I said, we oh, okay. I didn't even have it on a rod whenever I was spooling it. Oh wow. Yeah. Y'all were really roughing it. Yeah. We were, we were, we were, I don't know why we didn't think to just why don't we just put it on a rod and like, Oh yeah. That, that would have made it. Kinda, yeah, put a fine fine harness on and yeah. drop it down a little gear and crank here. Yeah, I don't know. We were we were just beating ourselves up. I remember we did that with my buddy uh I it was when I first got my fifties in. I got two fifties and two eighties at the same time. And I spooled them all with fifteen hundred yards, hundred pound power pro each, plus mono top shots. Okay. So it took me three hours to spool all three reels, or all four reels, yeah, by hand, yeah. like that. And my two buddies, um, one of them was putting pressure on on his on, on the spool by putting it into the carpet. Uh -huh. We ended up burning holes in the carpet and stuff. So, yeah. I, bet, I bet the old lady wasn't happy. Well, actually, it was a rented apartment for him. Oh, okay, so, so it wasn't that bad. <laughs> yeah. Well, it wasn't that bad, but I don't know if he lost any kind of deposit on yeah. it or anything yeah. like that. So. Sound we're looking for, just not right now. You, you know Cody Reed? Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's, my, that's my buddy that caught that 12 footer yesterday. Oh, that's awesome. Yes, tell, him, tell him congrats, man. Let's see. Hmm. Yeah, he's the one that, that got me in. <laughs> Change the knot too, because that one will end up. Look, oh, yeah. you're slipping on the spool, mm -hmm. so you would have landed up. You you would have hooked up, and you would have locked over the drag, and he would have just spooled you right off. And not and and what I mean by that, look, I'm turning on the clicker. Let's see, I'm gonna lock this in real quick. at least eight to ten times oh, for, okay. for it to keep create grip. So see that? Mm -hmm. Not even pulling the drag. So if you get down to like not even that. Fully spooled, it, it'll still it'll yeah, still move on the spool. Yeah. Okay. So as soon as you would have hooked up, there would have been nothing you could have done. Okay. So, especially if it was a monster. You would have had to been holding the line, pulling back and cranking forward and then stopping it again. Oh, yeah. Suck for an hour. Oh, shh. I've never, the biggest, I mean, I've never caught anything big, big. The biggest I caught was an eight foot hammer. Mm -hmm. That's still a good fight right there. Well, actually, it wasn't. Like, it, it was, it was weird. It was well, and then, then again, too, like, we always tell people, like, it, it's like a dog, it's, it's not the, the, bark of the dog yes. it's the fight in the dog you know yeah. some some dogs don't bark at all and let's yes, tear your butt up <laughs> yeah, was, was, I was like I thought it was like a, a little five foot black tip honestly mm -hmm. until it until it hit like the the about the second sandbar yeah then it started fighting a little bit oh okay That and your, your 
your lugs are showing right here. So we're going to have to watch that. The lugs coming oh, through? Oh, screwed in too far? Yeah. Okay. Just remember that when you're reeling in too, not to pile up in that those two little areas. hooked me up with the t-bar the right here oh yeah yeah because i was doing it with the wrench <laughs> works a whole lot better huh? yep what i'm gonna do too is i'm gonna do another one over here So tricky going going so long like this, but you gotta do it this way. Because what I'm gonna do is I'm doing a bimini on this side. Mm -hmm. That way, when I tie it to your spool, I can double up on the braid. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. It's so hard to show this on film because somebody's got to actually be watching me, not it posted up there. But one day I'll do it. Alright guys, so what I'm going to do now is, I made a bimini, but a huge bimini, almost six foot, <laughs> it literally is, to make the loop, so I'm doubling up the braid to the spool here, and then I'm going to do my anaconda knot, with the doubled up solid braid, and this one, do you ever get taken down to the knot, hold on, because <laughs> you're going to have to stop whatever it is or break it off. Same thing I did with you. Now you 
know it's locked into the spool, so. There we go. And what kind of power or what kind of braid is this? Reaction tackle. Oh, okay. I would say it's real abrasive. Yeah, it's cheap. Huh? It's cheap. Let me know how it works out because we've got a few guys raving that they've never had to change out their braid in a few years. I don't know. Change mine out about every third time I go fishing or so. With this reaction? Well, I mean, I've, I've kept well, I've kept the reaction on there for two years. Uh huh. And but then I started getting smart, and I'm like, it's only forty dollars for a spool. Mm hmm. And I've changed out more often, but. Okay, so I've, you do you kept it on there because it was still good, or just because money situation? Money. I was a broke college kid. Okay. And I mean, I never had to break off. But I can't see it's not far. What do you mean not far? Not far, but it's not far. Yeah. Hmm. I don't know. Yeah, just how, how rough it feels. Mm -hmm. I've had braid like that, and it, man, as soon as we got into shell or sandbar, it's gone. Start, yeah. yeah it was, but, like I said, I, I haven't fished with it personally because other braids that were like this, this abrasive you know, that we used it, it, it didn't last on us. Mm. Yeah. On the solid braid? Definitely keep me posted on how this one works out for you. Uh, I know now that you're out of college, you're going to be fishing a lot more, or attempting to, because work is also another thing. You know? Shark at about maybe five years ago, six, uh, I went out with some buddies and uh, some of my teammates, well, they ran our gear with all hollow for on one rack. They said they were getting cut off left and right where they were at, so they decided to come where we were at, because we weren't getting cut off at all. And literally, we were dropping out their lines, and as soon as we were dropping them off, by the time they were coming back, they were tough. Solid break. It was solid break, but like I said, it was abrasive like this one. It wasn't reaction tackle, but like I said, it just when I, when I feel this braid, I remember yes. what it did with them. But then again, I don't know if it was the same spectra of line uh, that they were getting yes. from the same company or whatever. You know, it, it, you don't know. But like I said I can't judge it. You know, I just. And also with that, with that molecular copper. Mm -hmm. But once you get to that topper, you can, yeah. But 100 pound is, that's what I actually fought one, my uh, 12 3 Tiger on. Actually, my 12 6 too. Uh, but because I had a 200 pound mono pop top that was 200 feet long, they, they saw it as an all tackle world record rather than, you know, the 100 pound line tackle. Because it was longer than 40 feet. I'm like, that's some BS, man. Cause that basically put me in the same bracket as the guys out of Florida who use nothing but 200 pound cast all the way through. Yeah, yeah. And, and it took them four and a half years to beat, beat my world record, but technically I did mine with 100 pound cast, not with 200, you yeah. Yes.
751 yards. So let's do this. What is your financial ability? Because I know at 30 bucks you're okay with. so I can take a picture when, <laughs> when I start doing the video. Shoot, I had one four footer that fought like a seven footer. Yeah. Like, I mean, it was, I was like, yeah, I got it. Yeah, and then yeah. when it came to the surface, we looked at each other, we're like, all right. Like, <laughs> okay, like, yeah. dude, this, and I actually let the shark go because it was just that awesome of a fight. Mm -hmm. Like, he yeah. earned his freedom. Like, mm -hmm. I was like, but yeah, no. And then I've had bigger ones, like seven footers, and didn't even know they were there. Yeah. Okay, so real quick, I'm almost flush with the spool. Okay. Uh, let's make it an even, even 1100. Right there. It's 1102 right there. Okay. Do you like the gap there, or do you want to fill in the gap? I like I like a little bit of gap. Uh, I what what? So, so we're at 1102 that's minus 751. <clears throat> It's like 350 right there or something like that. We'll probably just keep it right there. Right there? Okay. Yes, sir. Cool deal. Oh, there we go.